thought I'd make a video here. Uh, this is a really low uh, spec Windows 10 laptop here. Or I guess it's a cloud book. This is an Aspire One. This thing has like, uh, yeah, two gigabytes of RAM here and uh, a 32 gigabyte internal flash storage. The appeal of these is that they have one terabyte of uh, cloud storage and that is supposed to be um, that's supposed to be the main user storage for these and the 32 gig is, is just supposed to be like uh, you know downloading Google Chrome and stuff like that um, but I pulled this out of uh, the trash along with another one and I took the parts from both of them to make one functional netbook but that's not the point the point today is I'm gonna try and connect this drawing tablet which is as you can see here Windows 98 at least that's around how old it is um, probably people on YouTube can find some uh, additional information on this but uh, I know Windows 10 is extremely good at finding drivers I, I know this because I had a wireless card that I stuck in a desktop computer that I couldn't get to work on my Windows 7 computer because I didn't have any drivers for it and there weren't any available online because it was like some random Chinese company that was making these old wireless adapter cards and uh, <laughs> we plugged it into a Windows 10 machine and it fired right up. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to see if Windows 10 will find the driver for this Windows 98. Uh, Windows 98 accessory here peripheral and I am filming on my bed which is why there's so many blankets here okay. now additionally this might require some batteries I don't remember what does that do touch keyboard okay so will this be inputted as a mouse device I'm getting a little blinking light there. Let's see if any of these do anything. Nothing so far. There's also a mouse in here. It's like a little. That needs a AAA battery. Okay. I can get a AAA battery very quickly. Oh, oh, oh my god. No way. It's really, really slow. Wow, it's like super, super slow. Oh my god, I can't believe it works. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, right. Okay, alright, so I guess the pen just needs battery maybe or maybe you just have to take this off I'm guessing the pen needs a battery let me go see if I can find a battery or find where the battery goes in this real quick all right so sure enough it has very small plastic threads that I could very easily break if I was not being careful and now I'm not gonna be able to get this out one-handed because that's such a tight fit in there Okay, so, just give it a minute like that, very gently. Okay, so, check that out. So you can hover above the tablet here, and it will do that, and then it would appear that you can click pretty easily. 
So let me go into Microsoft Paint. Let me see if I can find paint on this computer, if it even has paint, and then I will draw a little picture. Let's see. You can barely see it, but... Oh my god, no way. No way, dude. <gasps> okay. It's a little bit weird to draw on, but <laughs> it it absolutely works. That's awesome. So what does this do? This little click thing here. Okay, it like changes it to the mouse for some reason. Oh, so you can like hold it onto the thing, drag it around, and then just lift, just lift on this to start drawing and then turn it off again. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'll be honest, I thought this was going to work because um, honestly, it I, just Windows 10, something about Windows 10, it's just really good at finding drivers. So I really honestly thought this was gonna work, but I didn't think it was going to work this well. So let's see if I can, just, yeah, just, it's weird to like, this isn't the whole, you gotta like get it centered and then yeah, but let's see. It's a little screwy, but it says thanks for watching because thanks for watching. This is the end of the video.